Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am back with a video of a, um, I guess I can call it like a new series that I want to incorporate onto my channel. And basically it's going to be um, different spells and rituals that you can do that um, may or may not involve using the Art of the Root Oils. Uh, I know that sometimes it can be difficult to get an oil or you want something to happen, <clears throat> excuse me, you want something to happen in your life, but you, um, you don't have the oil to help assist you. And I wanted to let you know that, um, you know, just because you don't have the oil does not mean that you cannot manifest, uh, what you want into your life. As we know, everything is, um, about our intentions and intentions are what makes, things work and manifest into our life, um, regardless of whether we have an oil or not. But I wanted to go ahead and um, I'll probably do this like uh, every two Mondays, well, every other Monday throughout the month. And it's basically called the, um, I call it the Manis Manifestation Magic Monday. So I'll drop the video on a Monday uh, of basically a easy spell or ritual that you can do uh, a lot of times you can use these you will not use but the ingredients that you use you probably have in your kitchen cabinet which makes it even you know more convenient so you don't have to go out and purchase a bunch of stuff but um today's ritual is basically a prosperity sugar ritual and you only need three things which is a fire safe bowl or plate that you have. You'll need a piece of charcoal. And this can be any type of charcoal. Um, I smoke a hookah, so I use my hookah charcoals for this. But basically, I get the charcoals from um, Amazon. Hopefully, you guys can see this. It's a uh, charcoal master. And it's I think it's like five bucks on Amazon, but basically you could just go and get like a charcoal from your, you know, if you grill, you can use one of those charcoals, any charcoal will work. And the last ingredient that you need is just some sugar. It doesn't matter what kind of sugar, just as long as it's sugar. Uh, I like to use this sugar. You can get this sugar from um, your local dollar store. But uh, if you have plain white sugar, brown sugar, uh, just basically any type of sugar, you know, is fine. But basically what you will do with this ritual is that you will do this every Thursday evening. And um, I say Thursday because Thursdays are our days for, you know, bringing forth prosperity, money, abundance into our, um, into our lives. So I do this every Thursday evening as an ongoing ritual. But I do want to note that you want to make sure when you do this ritual that you're not doing it on a um, <clears throat> during a wanting moon phase. Uh, as we know, or you may not know, uh, wanting is basically when you want to take away or remove something from your life. Uh, it's best to do those type of rituals during the wanting moon phase. But if you want to bring something into your life, it's best to do it during the waxing moon phase. And how you can check to see which moon phase we're in, uh, you just basically Google it. You know, basically just put in today's moon phase and it'll bring up a site where you can look and see uh, exactly what moon phase we're in. But just in case you're wondering, right now we are still in the wanting moon phase. Uh, we won't start the waxing moon phase until I think the 12th. Um, and it looks on Friday, either Friday or Saturday of this week, but, um, just check Google and make sure that you do this during the waxing moon phase, because I did this accidentally during the wanting moon phase and it was not pretty. And it just seemed like all of my, um, all of my money just seemed to disappear out of nowhere and my bank account just seemed to get smaller and smaller and smaller so just giving that warning make sure you do this during the waxing moon phrase and make sure you continue to do this ritual uh on every thursday evening but basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your charcoal and you're going to light it let's see 
and you want to make sure that your charcoal gets good and hot and it's just taking a minute for it to warm up and also um, excuse me uh, you want to make sure I don't know if you like if you live with family who may think you know you're doing something weird or wondering like what are you doing <laughs> basically but um if not you know you can do this in the comfort of your home still or you may just want to do it at a time when there's no distractions and there's no one around but basically what you're gonna do is once your charcoal is fully hot and it's almost done getting hot You're going to go into each room of your house and basically you're going to take your sugar and you're going to put it on top of your charcoal basically so that it creates a smoke. You see how it's smoking? And you want to make sure that your smoke fills the entire room and you're basically going to say like a prayer over your home for prosperity, for abundance. Uh, for money to come easily to you, for money to stay when it comes easily. But you want to make sure that you go into each room of your home and you just want to wave the plate around so to make sure that each space is, um, not to say covered in smoke, but basically that you um, have uh, filled up the smoke filled up the smoke <laughs> have filled up the room with smoke basically and it's like you want to repeat this in every single room of your home I do it in the bathroom I do it in my den I do it in my kitchen I do it in mine in my son's room um, and I just make sure that I say a prayer and I um, invite money to come into my life I invite money to stay into my life and with each room that I go into I just continue to add sugar to the charcoal to make sure that it you know the smoke continues and that everything gets good and smoky in each room and it doesn't stink it just smells like um, like sweetness like sugar basically uh, it smells like what it is burning sugar so it's not it's not stink or anything like that but um, this is a ritual that I did learn from watching um, Magical Lady Duchess here on YouTube. If you have not heard of her, uh, go ahead and check her out. Of course, of each spell and ritual, I'll um, give credit to where I learned it to. Some of the ones that I will be showing you guys is ones that I have made up on my own that have success successfully worked for me. Um, I'll probably show you ones that did not work for me, but, you know, they may work for you as well. Or, I mean, not as well, but if, you know, it may not have worked for me, but it may work for you because each person is different. But, yeah, that's basically it um, for today's Sugar Prosperity spell. Our ritual, as you can see, only requires really two ingredients, um, a charcoal and some sugar. And you just let it burn. And once you um, once you have completed, you know, going into all of your rooms, uh, saying your prayer, getting it smoky, all you can do is just put the charcoal out with some water. And um, that's it. And, yeah, I do this every Thursday evening. And I promise you guys I have seen success in doing this. Um, you know, sometimes I get money in my account that I was not expecting or I don't have any difficulties as far as seeing money disappear easily within my account. I'm more mindful of my spending. So I have noticed a difference ever since I started doing this ritual. And of course I wanted to share it with you guys as well because I like to see everybody succeed. And so I thank you for coming to my channel and you know, go ahead and give this ritual a try. Remember to do it during the waxing moon phase. And let me know how it goes for you. Alright, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.